Hello everyone, Mugabe Man here with another cryptocurrency tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deposit cryptocurrency, how to buy cryptocurrency using mobile money. So in, instead of using Binance, we are going to use MetaMask, the MetaMask wallet. If you don't know about MetaMask wallet, you should check out uh, my post at MugabeMan.com. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin. So right now we are in the don't mind about the Windows styles. We are still in a mo an Android phone. So in my Android phone you can go to Play Store and search for the MetaMask app. As you can see I already searched for it. So simply install this and open it up. Now for the first time opening this you'll be requested to create a wallet. Now I already have a video tutorial showing you how to create a MetaMask wallet on my YouTube channel right here. So make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification button and all that stuff you already know. <laughs> Alright, so create your account using what we call a phrase and then come back here. You create the account using a phrase plus the password. So I'm going to just put in my password and tap on unlock. Alright, so now we are in uh, my account and this account has two assets. Uh, if you are here and you are, we are talking about cryptocurrency, you already know about assets. So assets are uh, digital assets or cryptocurrencies. Digital assets can be NFTs. Someone can create an, uh, can create art and turn it into an, an NFT. An NFT can be even a physical something like a house, like a car, like uh, whatever you want to make it. So if you have NFTs, this is where you find them in the MetaMask wallet. Right here on your wallet, it's the first thing that will be shown here. So you notice we have tokens and we have NFTs tab. So that's the first thing you need to notice. And remember all of this is connected to your account, to your address so we already have an address and we already have some tokens let's assume but if you don't have tokens we are going to look at how to import tokens by tapping right here just tap on import and select and search for the tokens that are in your account and they will be imported right away so that's the first tab down here if you notice that small icon like a wallet icon and at the top before we go through the tabs at the top, you notice we have an Ethereum main network. We also have linear main network. So you can switch between those two. You can also add your own network like the Bitcoin. There's some stuff you need to enter right here like the chain ID, the network name. But the most popular ones right here are BNB chain, which I think we should add or probably add later. But you can just add it like that. And the... Uh, confirm we don't want to switch network right now we want to stay in the ethereum network so if you don't know about how cryptocurrency works basically this is uh this is the network on which we are going to be sending uh or transacting so if you have if you know about mobile money transactions you need the mobile number so same here you need you need an address wallet address so next is let's look at this tab right here so this tab shows you the transactions that have taken place in your account all the history you can even view the full history on the ether scan the ether scan is the place where you find all the transactions on the ethereum network so next is the tab is the button that allows you to buy sell swap bridge send or receive cryptocurrency so we can buy cryptocurrency with many methods including mobile money <laughs> our favorite and you can also use debit or credit you can imagine you can also use google play it's google pay to buy your cryptocurrency so that's a uh, one way so let's uh, first look at other ways go back to this tab and say buy oh, sorry that's those are the three ways to buy cryptocurrency three ways using google pay using a debit or credit card or using the mobile money which you're going to look at in a minute okay next is uh this tab right here 
this this first go back to this tab you notice we can also sell your crypto you can also send using uh, your crypto wallet address here is where you paste the other person's crypto wallet address so you paste it here and you send it to you send them you make sure it's on the same network if it's ethereum yeah let them give you an ethereum wallet so that that's some of the good stuff you can do right there you can also bridge or transfer tokens from uh, maybe you have noticed we have the bnb chain we also have the ethereum network and many other networks so bridge is the thing that allows you or is the future that allows you to transfer tokens from one network to another so that's a uh, bridging a lot of stuff <laughs> we have covered already anyway so here is the cool thing it's called a browser so this metamask browser allows you to access and uh, more stuff more cryptocurrency and digital currency stuff for example earning crypto which is my favorite but let's first look at decentralized app different decentralized finance number one so decentralized finance is where we find everything related to wallets for to apps that do if you have heard of uh, decentralized apps so decentralized apps is a collection of apps that are decentralized or that are work they work on the on the network on the blockchain network so they operate on the blockchain network those are the decentralized apps so some of them are right here we have zepa we have uh, maker DAO, we have curve now all of these do different things some you notice compound can earn you interest on your if uh, maker DAO can allow you to trade borrow and save and uh, many other stuff you can come through and look. you can also check out my website mgabiman.com there's a long post for you to learn more about all this stuff so that's decentralized finance next is the decentralized exchange oh let me take a breath right there <laughs> so decentralized exchange these are the apps that are going to allow you to do crypto exchanges swapping if you want is we, we have just talked about bridging so swapping is where you get or you turn one cryptocurrency from one cryptocurrency to another that is swapping so if you want if you have ethereum but you want bitcoin you can simply swap it and uh, and so on so that's swapping so one of the apps right here is uniswap that does that and these are all dApps or decentralized apps running on the decentralized network or the blockchain and you notice it's called decentralized exchanges <laughs> right so we have ads and collectibles now this tab includes some of the websites that you like a marketplaces for example OpenSea and even the number one axi infinity is also another marketplace for the for the axi infinity game uh elements or assets if you want if you want the assets to use in the in the axi infinity game you have to go to the axi infinity marketplace to buy those same with uh open c and super rare if you want to buy uh, nfts and other digital collectibles this is where you go so that's uh, some of the stuff and you have other marketplaces like makers place like mint base crypto kitties those are games with marketplaces games running on the blockchain network but they have marketplaces whereby you buy imagine imagine fifa you're playing fifa but you can buy those players from a certain marketplace and this marketplace is on the blockchain so this is what we call the the the, the decentralized decentralized apps dApps. all right so now we come to my favorite one and crypto so different ways to earn crypto you can get paid if gitcoin sorry let's look at cent cent you can earn it by creating content gitcoin you can get paid in crypto for working on open source projects and uh, local ethereum get ethereum peer to peer in over 130 countries this is not available in uganda and uh, mira crypto native creative suite 
with crowdfunding and publishing tools for creators. So that's a call section right there. So we have developer tools. If you want uh, some uh, some crypto elements or some blockchain elements integrated into your website, this can help out. So a site for adding additional blockchains to your wallet. Uh, that's chain list. Ethereum name service. Have one name for all your cryptocurrency wallets. Decentralized website. And so on. That's developer tools. So we have a social. We have social media apps that are running on the blockchain. For example, form number three and three box and others. So we have markets. So these markets are showing you what's going on around uh, what's taking place in the crypto, crypto and blockchain marketplace. Sorry, crypto and the blockchain industry. For example, coin gecko shows you all the cryptocurrency prices and market capitalization and many many other apps like Coindesk. Coindesk is one of all it's also one of the biggest platforms for getting news about cryptocurrencies and the, the the whole of the cryptocurrency industry so if you want to take a tour of the app notice down there there is that thing that uh, gives you a quick tour okay so we have looked at this one the wallet we have looked at the address we have looked at the uh, creating and um, cre creating a new account for your public it's the public the public key is what we call the address so you can create more keys or more addresses if you want just like you can have multiple phone numbers right using uh, your wallet this is where you buy we have also seen this buying sending swapping receiving and uh, uh, receiving assets explore the u the web 3 so this is the browser that allows you to explore the web 3 scene okay i think that's it so lastly uh, we've already looked at how to use this browser lastly these small settings right here will allow you to change things like uh, your conversion rate sorry your co currency conversion uh, from usd to which currency it chose your own currency so from your default currency let's call this your default currency all right and you can also choose uh, the language and some other small settings so the most let's get to the most important part right here of how to buy cryptocurrency in uganda using mobile money all right so that's what brought you here so let's get started so first of all there's a cool thing called staking. I don't know if you guys know about it. So staking is where you, it's whereby you keep your crypto in the wallet and uh, the, the blockchain or the network keeps on rewarding you. Okay? So it's, I, th I think it's like uh, keeping your money in the bank and uh, you keep receiving some interest. Maybe it's something like that. But this is more... more uh, I think this is a little bit different, kind of similar. It's not complicated things. <laughs> so this is where you do staking. Uh, you just go to portfolio. This button might not be here uh, if you haven't yet done. If you have, you don't if you don't have any assets or anything in your wallet, but I think you can find it if you go to the browser and then you go to earn crypto so no i guess not so if you go to if you go to buy you go to this button right here you're going to use the buy button to buy some assets and you have them in your wallet and then you'll be able to see that portfolio button anyways let's let's just go to buy right go to buy and then choose mobile money as your payment method that's the first thing next is leave this to you usdc okay if you want you can even search uh, search for another currency uh, but ethereum is not part of it so let's enter the amount you're going to buy and so you can enter only amount a minimum of seventy thousand uganda shillings I think that's about 21 27 dollars 
to about 150,000, which, which is about, uh, what's that, 30, 40 dollars. Anyway, so let's enter amount in Uganda shillings right here. Notice you can also change the currency. 150, okay, all right. Let's click, uh, tap on get codes. All right. So, one thing you should understand here is we are buying cryptocurrency from someone around that is going to send us. So, we just pass through, uh, we go through this uh, font, font bank. It's called font bank or something. So, the first thing you will need to do is verify your number. I've already verified my number. So, you have to verify your phone number, get a small code, enter it, and that's it. And then you come here to the next step and choose Air, whatever network you are on. I'm going to choose Airtel. So from my Airtel, we are going to use this amount to purchase a failure. So next. Alright, so we have a code from Flutterweb. So we are using flutter wave again three four four three eight four so if you if you remember now this it's time to enter the pin i think that should complete our payment that's right thanks for your payment for the confirmed deposit in progress and the phone bank is sending USDC to your wallet. No, failed to transfer because no chance of transfer has failed. I'm not sure why. Before we close, if we close the video, let's try again. Let's try again once more. Go to buy, go to the button for buying and go to buy. and enter the amount right here to go to the next step next is uh, simply tap on get codes next is uh, i think we have some codes so we tap on continue with phone bank Right, so next we tap on transfer funds to Airtel. Okay, call the PIN number for your mobile money and then receive this order go through. Alright, so I think this one went through. So if we go back to our wallet, back to MetaMask, uh, right here. So we have our balance in USDC. Uh, otherwise, that's how you buy cryptocurrency in Uganda using mobile money and the Flutter web service. So. If you found this helpful, be sure to hit the like button, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I hope to see you in the next one.